Hi there and welcome to our January workout calendar strength edition. So as you can see here, we have 15 workouts throughout the month and all of them are strength focused. Okay, so what you need to participate in this workout calendar? Most of these workouts are no equipment workouts, but there are also workouts with resistance band and dumbbells. Now, if you don't have dumbbells, you could use a kettlebell or some other weights that you might have around the house. How does this workout calendar work? This workout calendar is a playlist on my YouTube channel and this intro video is the first video of that whole playlist. If you're new to playlists on YouTube, don't worry about it, it's pretty simple. You just have a series of videos in an order and you can just watch them in a row. That's the point. So I have put these videos for you in the right order and all you need to do is just follow along. Because I think less is more and we want to focus on building that solid foundation. We do not have a workout for each day of the month. We do have several workouts throughout the month and on average we have a workout for every other day. In the workout calendar we have some new workouts and some old workouts. Now a very important information for you is that the new workouts will be published the day before they are scheduled in the calendar. So if you go now and try to find them, you won't find them. I have put them in the playlist, but you won't be able to see them because they are not published yet. Okay, so they will come up the previous day. So what I want you to do is have a look at the workout calendar and see, are you able to stick to these days or do you have to modify it slightly uh, to fit into your weekly schedule? Because I know people do shift work, people have different kinds of schedules. So here's an idea of how you can do the workouts, but you can also do two workouts in one day if that's better for you. Or you can do workouts two days in a row or three days in a row and then have more rest days. So there is an average of three to four workouts a week. But like I said, you can also do two workouts on one day because they are quite short and they are not too intense. So for example, what you can do is every Sunday have a look at the next week and see, okay, these are the workouts next week and these are my work shifts and my, all of my, you know, things I have to do. And when do I have time to do these workouts? If you get lost in the playlist, you can always come back to this first video, look at the description box below and find all the, indivi all the individual links to all the videos. So if you have like, let's say day six and you're like, oh, I can't remember which workout I was going to do, you can go to the, the description box below and find the right workout. I think we're all set now, so let's get started. And if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments down below. And you can always come back to this description box for all the details and infos. And you can also comment on any video or ask me anything under any video and I will answer you. See you on the next workout video. Bye bye!